All right, deep breaths. <laughs> All right, I must push this baby out. Aha! You've made it to the Higgy Ring Tower. Now head for the top floor. Okay, this is the hard coaster of Bomberman Jetters. <laughs> this, this is the this is a level that made me not only hate Bomberman Jetters, but pretty much made me decide to never play a game that I can't guarantee I won't enjoy from start to finish. Shut the fuck up, Bongo. For God's sake, you're the last character I like in this game. I like how the first thing you do is you're talking to Shout, and then this this Hige wizard just walks by you and looks at you just going, what, he, what is he doing? <laughs> like, he didn't even throw anything at you or shoot at you. He just walked right by. Enter the elevator. After I already the know. <laughs> I'm trying not to scream because my parents are asleep. Oh my god, it's a tutorial level at the last level! Some place, there should be a switch to move the wall. Uh. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> no, okay. Um, level in a nutshell. We have to go to the top floor of four floors uh, using our new carabomb that lets us kind of move bombs around. What's the sound that made? Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I hate those enemies so bad. It's like, oh, God. You don't know how much terror I felt whenever they saw me, because it's so hard to get away from them. Hold up, hold up. And, uh... You can't press the barrier switch until you've defeated all the opponents in the room. Should I mention that I actually considered deleting all of Shout's lines for this? Did you really? This happened so many times. Oh, you have no idea. Well, you will when the video is over, but... Yeah, I will have an idea. But, uh, we have to get to the top floor of four different towers, defeat all the enemies in those towers so that those switches become available, and then by hitting those, we open up the final area with the mini-boss. Is it possible to get to level up every single one of those, uh, animal things? Uh, yeah. We just have to backtrack to other places with Carabomb food. Well, that's no fun. No, it isn't. But I'm gonna have to for the collection videos. <laughs> no fun. One nice thing about Yuno, know, when you level it up to level 3, you actually get uh, proper remote-controlled bombs. What's What do they do? Do they fly? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, it's like, alongside them, little like, RC cars. You can also blow them up whenever you want. Joy, you're going back down here. I like it. I have to <laughs> fast forward it. And this is oh, why. Those things are fucking obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> They're more obnoxious than this fast mode. <laughs> Remember, I do fast mode for your convenience. I had to sit through this in normal speed. You can only move ahead after pressing the four barriers. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> we understand. This remote bomb is rather convenient. But I don't yeah. understand why it has anything to do with a unicorn. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I don't remember what Uno did in Generations. Then I don't remember anything about Generations anymore. So what's the point? I would have cut all of this out, but this place is so labyrinthine, and there are a couple places which are essentially dead ends, and you have to go all the way around the level to get through them that it would be a little too confusing for anyone who might uh, end up using this as a guide for their own playthrough of the game, so... <laughs> We're gonna let you experience the joy of this level on your own. The elevator has an up and a down switch. Be sure you... How oh my awful. gosh! My finger is this close to my throat. <laughs> Shot, you're such a brilliant tactician. Ugh... The only really nice thing about this level, the only nice thing, is that the music is pretty cool. But as you can tell, I ruined that for you. I feel like there should be a point where after this whole mission, you know, Shira saves the day, and then he goes back to Shadow's like, you know what? I quit. <laughs> I'm done with you. I mean, I thought Shadow was annoying on the show, but goddamn. Oh, she takes on a whole new level. I played through... Uh, Wow, I went through- I went to the same area three times. Um, now, I got Ocarina of Time 3D for the 3DS. Mm -hmm. And 
I realized playing through it, Shout is worse than Navi. <laughs> in every possible way. Hey, listen, there's a switch. Uh huh. <laughs> no, no, dude. Navi, she stops you a lot. She gets really annoying. Shout never stops. To the very final level of the game, you still see Shout. <laughs> you might want to fight the boss. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I guess we could, you know, just get some differentiation by at least getting Birdie in there somewhere. Yeah, he shows up during the bosses, at least. And he doesn't, he's not even that helpful. No. You know that bomb you just got? You might want to use it. Kind of figured. The only time it might be useful is if for some reason you forgot to get that bomb, and then he tells you, this bomb you don't have might be more effective. <laughs> oh, you don't have it? And now you're lost, and you're worried because you forgot something. <laughs> you don't got it? Well, you're fucked. <laughs> Just be careful! <laughs> <laughs> I still think that's the best part of this game. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta sound like a hero in exactly one second! The pause screen does show you the map of the entire level, which is nice, but it doesn't tell you the parts that are, like, the little passageways that are blocked off. Yeah, I can't help but notice that the timer says 10 minutes and 42 seconds. Yeah, I would have lost my mind if you hit this almost speed. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry for the, the mental blocks you've lost playing through this. No, you've lost something out of this. Oh, I you did. You tried. <laughs> no. I, I was so close to having a meltdown during this. D d no, during the practice run, I was having like so many oh, aneurysms per second, and I do the practice runs the same day I do the proper recordings, so I had to burn through this. Ugh. Raiden's putting in that on his Twitter. <laughs> I hate this game, lol. <laughs> Jedders killed my friend. Jedders, are you gay, gay lol? <laughs> OMG, am I right? I'm going to IHOP. <laughs> I've got to love them all. I'm going to feel better. <laughs> Speaking of something that's not Barman Jetters, have you guys ever seen an Orange Julius? Heard about them? Never seen them? Heard they're delish. <laughs> <laughs> that cheered me up. This is why I wanted you in this part, because I knew I was going to be such a drip. <laughs> Here's all this. I hate this. Hate this too. This might count as something I hate. I don't hate this. Actually, no, I do. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if um, you guys caught it because it's sped up or, I don't know, I guess we just breezed by it, but sometimes there are a couple elevators, I think on like level 2 or level 3, that are actually blocked off by other elevators. I have, how do you have to suppose any sense of direction in this level? I can't even tell. Oh, there it is, right there. So I, time, I timed that one pretty well. But, yeah, even the map doesn't help you that much when you're trying to get to the top. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> We're almost through it. I think this is the last one. Yes, I somehow made it back. And now, what do you think we fight? Robot Gorilla. Pretty close, actually. What? That statue of Mucho is... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the greatest mini boss ever. I'm gonna rape you. <laughs> yeah, if you want to make your children feel any more uncomfortable, have a man in spandex running at this small child. <laughs> With his, look at his walk, too. The walk. Now listen to him, too. He's going. <laughs> <laughs> This makes up for every bit of it. <laughs> no. If nothing else has to be said. Whoa. Thankfully, he's a pretty easy boss, but... I really hate how any boss has those brief minutes of invulnerability. Like, when they're just standing there, but they're preparing for an, an attack or something. God, this guy's a pain in the ass. <laughs> he sounds like he has a pain in his ass. Have you heard him? Emerald! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Got 
the greatest sound ever. <laughs> That'd be a great range. I like this where I screw it. <laughs> Get with this asshole. What is he doing? He's charging up. He actually makes explosions when he punches the ground. It's kind of funny. Oh my dick! <laughs> I love his scream. <laughs> I think they took his Mexican wrestler uh, inspiration to heart. Ay 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 ole! I think that's the that's the only big heart container collectible that I know of right there, and I don't know, but I think you need Pommy to be a level three before you can reach him. Oh, that's good then. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like the first time you played this, when you got to this point, you were just yelling at your screen, going, "Ah! <laughs> it is over!" They put a good amount of effort into the animation of these little things. Why do they put no effort into that game itself? They put no effort into the sound effects of the cutscenes, I noticed. They put no efforts in the sound. I think Barman as a series really needs some sound effects help. <laughs> um, let's see. I hate this boss, too. Um, you have to wait for him to do an attack or something or jump around or whatever. Something so that you can get right behind him and throw a bomb behind him. Uh, because uh, his tail is a dragon and his dragon eats bombs. And until the dragon tail eats the bombs, he's protected by that kind of fire coat or whatever, and you can't hurt him. So he's got to try to eat the bombs first before... Then why bother making them big? Why don't you just throw small ones at him? Uh, the big ones are more effective. <laughs> the big one might be more effective. <laughs> a more powerful bomb might be more effective. <laughs> but yeah, usually the best attack to do that is this lightning attack that he just doesn't want to do. So right now I'm getting really impatient. He's lightning to... <laughs> that one right there, <laughs> maybe? Yeah, the one that... what uh, The one that got in the way. So I'm standing around. And this isn't even the worst part of the fight. It act it can get really tedious, really slowly, which is terrible. Because like he's he still has eight heart containers. Yeah, he has way too much health for how annoyingly long he is. Here's a terrible noise too. Yeah. I'm dangerous. Eventually, I decide fuck it and just throw a regular bomb. <laughs> and that worked too. Yeah, finally. So now he has uh, no protective covering, but his um, little fire shield regenerates there, and now I have to do it all over again. God damn it. And he won't stop regenerating his protective shield until he gets halfway through his health. Time attack is not the element of this game. No. I love they make this ultimate animal, but it has like the cutest noise in the world. Yeah, he had a roar during the cutscenes. I'm such a cutie! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you want me as a- Like, even when he's running into you, he's not doing any damage. It doesn't even get too close. Really, my tactic for this is just plant a bomb and hope he runs into it before his shield regenerates. He looks like an idiot! <laughs> I feel like an idiot fighting him. Ultimate boss battle my ass. I wish it was the ultimate. Come on, just do the lightning. <laughs> just come on, ride in lightning. <laughs> Be my favorite. <laughs> oh, is he getting? I'm a unicorn. The rain transformed. <laughs> I like cute things. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> I own a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> a Volkswagen Beetle. A Volkswagen. 
A bunch flagging. I don't know why I started becoming. But flagging, but flagging. Alright. Because there are similarities. <laughs> Between the German language. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Eat it up. You think he'd learn his lesson by now? Uh, no, of course not. Nothing in Bomberman learns its lesson. <laughs> Touch that Guam Bomb quick spaz attack! If you got those bomb at me, I guess I should eat it. Because that would be effective. <laughs> Let me eat this for you real quick. Oh, come on! This should have been a tasty bomb. Lightning is good for your throat. <laughs> Never tell that the children. Now he's finally halfway through his health, and... It does it again. Whoa! No, that's some weird un unavoidable attack. You can't dodge that. But thankfully, his sh his proper shield doesn't recharge. You can still hit him, so... Now I'm just saying, fuck it. I he's never done this attack this many times in a row before, though. So it's an endurance battle at this point. <laughs> Pretty much. Die, it's Draft Kitty! Go to Goldeen Hell, you son of a bitch. This. This time I'll let you go. <laughs> I can do this! <laughs> what the hell did he say? I don't know! <laughs> and that's it. Those are the credits. That's the game? Well, we'll see. That can't be it. But <laughs> it's not much of an ending, that's for sure. But for now, that's... yeah, that's the credits. Well, folks, it was quite a non-interesting ride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know when I'm gonna get the nerve together to do the collection videos. I still have to do Agent Under Fire, so I'll do that first, but I'm just, <laughs> just, I'm just glad this is done. Just something, for the love of God. Wait, what? why was Mighty credited? Was he really? Mighty didn't say anything. Uh, oh, it might have been for the... Um, multiplayer but um at, at least we know birdie and max aren't the same voice actor thank god because that'd be hyper depressing <laughs> you're still doing max for jetters though good <laughs> we wouldn't have it any other way <laughs> now you're stealing my voice you're stealing my thunder <laughs> thunder <laughs> Thunder! Fuck it. <laughs> Thunder Melon! Thunder Melon. <laughs> I think you could just mix those together as much as you wanted. I'd love to see a kind of a cute picture of Max holding a, a melon. It's like a melon with a heart. <laughs> <laughs> like a heart coming out of a speech bubble. Yeah. I heart melon. <laughs> This cutscene at least kind of funny because Megadoc keeps hitting Mujo instead of you. Okay, can you believe that? In the credits, they included um, "I'm on the Edge," you know the the song that they took out. <laughs> I also like the fact that they're actually calling people in this voice talent. <laughs> Is there any talent in this game? <laughs> Hiring a decent voice actor might be more effective. <laughs> <laughs> Telling them how to do a line might be more effective. <laughs> Giving up on the fucking tutorial when you've already beat the game might be more... I feel like you're scrolling through this, like, ending credits, and then the credits just stop. <laughs> My name is at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Cox? Cox! <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Who else could it be? <laughs> <laughs> Pox, played by Cox. <laughs> Fuck you, Hudson Soft. We've had to sit through your shit long enough. Be careful, they're inexperienced! The end. <laughs> Be careful, they have experience of making shit! <laughs> Alright. And thank God. Calm down. But it's not over yet. Dr. Ein has something to say for some reason. Shout, Elaine, Mermaid Bomber, Granny Bomber, pack a bag, we're off to Burma.
Okay, two questions. <laughs> Who the fuck is Elaine? And what? where where what? is Burma? <laughs> what? Where? I'm kind of curious. Who is Elaine? <laughs> like, uh, I think it might be this character in Jetter's. Um, I think her Japanese name is Misty. Maybe they, for some reason they just. Mixed. Clearly, there's a connection there. Misty, Elaine, it just rolls off the tongue. Because <laughs> I can't think of any other Elaine. I'm I'm surprised you included Mermaid Bomber because she's a villain. <laughs> All you sexy ladies, go with me to Burma. Where? Some made up land. Are you senile, sir? <laughs> For some reason, Burma sounds to me like some military compound. It's in, like Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> it's a place in America. It's like a place in not America, but it's a place on the planet Earth. So or they're either just clearly deciding to break the, the third wall there or they're just batshit insane. <laughs> I like how it's like you beat the game. Now, here's a little tidbit to make it all worth it. I'm going to have sex with all these women over on this place that doesn't exist. Thank you. Thank you for that experience. <laughs> it's funny. I missed like three or four of these things. I still feel like I didn't miss anything. <laughs> you didn't. <sighs> that was fun. Yeah. By the way, <sighs> bad news. Mm? The game's not over. Um, can you run that by me again? <laughs> <laughs> Collection videos. You'll see what I mean. I feel like... Yoshi, shut your fucking mouth. I feel like he's like, oh yeah, there's this one level, if you hold down these buttons, you'll end up in like the moon part, and you gotta go through these elevator levels again. Oh, no, no, no. It's, um, it com- <sighs> Hudson, thankfully, decided not to do something like that in this. As far as I know, I'm not gonna try it out. Please knock on wood. Um, here, I'll bash my head against my, uh, bookcase. There we okay. go. No, right. um, you need to collect all of the cards in the game, and then you get the final, final boss fights. And then the game is over. The final, final boss fights? Yeah. Like you fight that one <laughs> Batman bomber? Like no, you, fight the, you fight the actual villains this time. <sighs> what do you get out of that? The actual ending. And, what's and a nice animated cutscene, except shouts oh. in it, so it's not nice anymore. <laughs> you gotta look like, oh god, not you again. <laughs> She's still giving me instructions! <laughs> Sit down to watch this cutscene. I imagine her just ruining people's lives. You're just trying to cook a burger, then... Pshink! I like mine, medium well done. <laughs> You'll get it raw if you don't shut up. <laughs> I'm not even going to cook yours, bitch. <laughs> I'll fire it at a cannon out you. How about that? <laughs> You're trying to sleep. It's 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Shout, I swear to God, if I find out where you are, you're dead. You already know where I am. You can't come to me because you got a mission. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your camera around. You'll see me. Just kidding. It's your dog. <laughs> He's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> you evil bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't make me like her now. <laughs> <laughs> you like the fact that she's potentially cruel. <laughs> well, the fan art did that for us. All right. <laughs> did you did did I show you the fan art? You didn't show me Shout's fan art. She got a few good ones. Well, I think the last one I saw was the the Wii one. <laughs> that was a while ago, though. Yeah, you got some catching up to do. Hyper art. <laughs> <laughs>